Hi, welcome to the Vox Pathfinder 15R channel. Um, last time we had just ruled out this uh, three and a half millimeter mono in input jack as a source of our short. And so I was playing around and I was testing out this chip on my uh, transistor tester and it tested fine, no big deal. And so what I started doing is I started doing some research, uh, finding out the wiring of this chip and uh, and I was just playing around with uh, seeing where if there's continuity okay let's see hold on a second so one of the places where there shouldn't be a short should be on the positive side of this op amp right and that's pin 8 I mean, I know from last time we have a short and we do that. But when you take out the chip, pin 8 right being right here, there should be no short. And there is. So what I did is I went ahead and I removed the knobs on the front so I could take out this board. Let's just get a closer look. So I took out this board and I started to look on the back side of it. All right. And this is the location right here of where our wire enters the board, our you know positive supply. And the the circuit diagram at first wasn't making sense to me. So I took the time out to draw it. And I discovered that other than this capacitor right here, which on this board is really this resistor, it's pretty much identical. And as well, there's a capacitor added here at the end just before it goes into the power, powering the op amp chip. But everything is pretty much how it is on this wiring diagram posted online. All it says it's based on the TAN unit. Although they're calling it for the black unit. I don't know why they would do that. Oh well. So I decided the thing to do was following this circuit that the best location to break the circuit would be right here. So it would put a break right here right here by unsoldering one joint and we could test this leg separately for short this leg separately for short and this leg separately before just before it gets to pin 8 on the op amp and that would just be from one if we did it later or back you know we may not be able to know as quickly where exactly the short or, or we might get lucky but this place seemed to be the best place to break it so we could split it up into three branches and then test further in to see where exactly the short is so I went on the board looked at the you know on the board you know if you follow this right here is the first resistor and this junction here is the place that we want to make the break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my soldering iron and then we're going to uh, suck the solder right off this, heat it up and suck the solder right off this joint and we can go ahead and test three different legs to see to narrow where the short may be. And Hopefully we can wrap this up pretty quickly. Alright let me just uh, get my soldering iron let me just put this back up
There we go. We've broken it free. Now we can go test it in the locations and three, you know, three different locations and see precisely where our short is. Okay, we're back. Vox, uh, Vox Pathfinder 15R channel. And nothing is ever as easy as it seems to be. So we just, I just unsoldered this leg of the resistor, hoping to separate the three separate branches. I just did test that one branch was good. But if you follow this trace closely, even though that the resistor leg's not in it, you can see how the trace still can follow the solder on the outside and still go across. So it's still continuous. So what I decided to do is see this capacitor is possible. I say this is the next likely suspect for a short. So we're going to unsolder this pin right here and, and pull that out and see if that's where our short is. And if it's not there then we'll work on this resistor down here. So let's get cracking. Okay, just had to stop for a second to get the camera to refocus, so I'm going to unsolder that capacitor on one leg. There we go. All right. Let's ground the black thing on the case. No short. Still have a short. Let's make sure the red wire is not touching anything. See that's not touching anything. Short. Uh, across the capacitor. It's not shorting at all. Alright. Let's test out, unsolder this resistor. Okay, we still got time. And that resistor is right here. So we're going to break this joint. Okay, let's give that a try. There we go. Alright, now we're going to test your continuity. Yeah, there's our short. We're going to go back to this trace. See, no short. So we have isolated 
the short to this resistor. Okie doke. Uh, oh, I found something else. Let's get a closer look on this. Okay, I was able to get this camera to focus, and can you see that burn mark on the PCB? So that tells us this resistor is getting real hot and toasty and was starting to burn this PCB up. So this is the culprit, folks. So what we're going to do, I'm going to remove this, and I'll start the next part of this video the reassembly and eventually the retesting of this pedal and hopefully she's working great. So thanks for coming along with this journey with me. This is the Vox Pathfinder 15R channel and please stay tuned for the next episode, you know, the reassembly and the testing of this somewhat legendary pedal. Okay, thanks again. Bye.